okay so here we come with the third test of formaldehyde and that is the reaction between formaldehyde and resorcinol in presence of concentrated h2so4 so what we do in this test we take about 1 ml of formaldehyde in a test tube clean test tube and then we add one crystal of resorcinol that is the important point to perform this reaction don't add sufficient amount of resorcinol one means only one crystal of resorcinol in about 1 ml of formaldehyde and just by shaking we will dissolve it now to that solution very delicately along the wall of the test tube we will add concentrated h2so4 drop wise along the walls of the test tube don't add it directly we will add it along the wall of the test tube drop by drop about 1 ml of concentrated h2so4 that will come slowly that will roll down and when they react they will form two layers this concentrated h2so4 on reacting with that solution that is resorcinol dissolved in formaldehyde will form two layers one is the aqueous layer another is the organic layer the aqueous layer will give you white precipitate and at the junction of the two different layers you will get a red colored ring so after adding h2so4 drop wise along the wall we will keep it standing for few minutes and then we will see that there is a beautiful red ring at the junction of the two layers so let us proceed so first i need formaldehyde about 1 ml so here is my formaldehyde about 1 ml and then i said only one crystal of resorcinol so this is my resorcinol see only one crystal i have added only one crystal don't take it more than that and now just by shaking it i have to dissolve it just by shaking nothing else the most delicate step of this test is the addition of h2so4 you have to add the h2so4 very delicately so first let us dissolve this it will take few seconds shake it continuously in this way you can see still that white crystal is there at the bottom so keep patience and continue the shaking unless and until it is completely dissolved it will take a little time keep patience practical work is all about your patience okay so now it is completely dissolved a clear transparent solution right now the addition so take a beaker and take it like this and now i will add the concentrated h2so4 so now i am taking the concentrated h2so4 and see how i add it along the wall of the test tube drop wise along the walls of the test tube so that it rolls down in this way and you can see at the bottom it has already started reacting so in this way we will add 1 ml of h2so4 very slowly and delicately along the walls of the test tube otherwise the ring will break so be very patient and do this work very delicately a little more h2so4 
okay now it is sufficient and now we will keep it standing now we will keep it on standing for few minutes so after 2 minutes standing the solution now let us see the result yes here is the result see it the bottom is the organic layer and the above is the aqueous layer and as i said there will be white precipitate on the aqueous layer see white precipitate like cotton and at the junction you can see a reddish ring beautiful reddish ring now you can say what is that transparent part right that is the unreacted part because you remember we added the h2so4 very slowly along the walls of the test tube and we did not shake it because we don't want to break the ring so some unreacted part is there if you shake it vigorously the whole solution will react it will give you a reddish pinkish type of solution overall but there will be no ring at that condition so it is very important to very delicately and slowly add that h2so4 along the wall of the test tube just the way i have showed so the observation is a red ring is formed at the junction of the two layers while the aqueous layer forms a white precipitate like cotton okay so this test is complete